Hodges Bethke, Vice President, Customer Experience. Let's talk a little bit about gamification and what this huge influx of, of younger people that grew up playing video games, how that's impacting things like your laser tag experience. Sure, so we have a great laser tag experience on board. It's called Battle for Planet Z. And what we really try to do is take um, you know, something classic, like laser tag, right, that's really coming back again, especially with the younger crowd, and then really innovate and take it to the next level by using different kinds of tech, our production um, team, et cetera. So we started with a, a, a great um, opportunity in a venue like Studio B to use that for something more than just ice skating. So we said we've got this great arena, let's now create the biggest glow-in-the-dark inflatable laser tag that we can. So we had to go out and find a vendor that could do this, um, we had to go and create a story behind it, so we've created a, a competition called Battle for Planet Z. It is robots versus aliens, it's an eight minute game, there's seven people on each side on each team and you're, really, you're battling for the planet, but it's high production, so you go in, um, to the inflatable, you meet Thaddeus Blorf. He's the, you know, the kind of the master of ceremonies, if you will. Um, he talks you through the game, and then people enter the maze and go at it for eight minutes, and it's really great. So people are getting high scores, the team, team based. How, how are you seeing that impact replay and, and, and that element? Yeah, so we thought that um, guests would come in and play a couple of times. You'll see, for if we run laser tag for three to four hours, you'll see guests coming back and back and back and continuing to play and getting back in line. So they're really having a great time. It's super engaging. It's great for people to do together. The number one reason guests come on a cruise, no matter what their age is, is to bond with family and friends and the people they're traveling with. And this is a great way to do that. So we take something classic like laser tag, we amp it up the way that we do at Royal Caribbean, um, and it becomes pretty special. And right behind you, we have both basketball and football games. Uh, you got an arcade. Can you talk a little bit about the element of gaming and how that's spread throughout this ship? Yeah, so we have, um, right now we're standing in the Boardwalk neighborhood and there's certainly a lot of gamification going on here. We added a new venue on Symphony called Playmakers, Sports Bar and Arcade. And behind me are these great basketball games, right? Um, so it really is an extension of our arcade. We have a traditional arcade upstairs. It's got your, you know, um, air hockey and foosball as well as your, you know, games like Miss Pac-Man and Galaga, etc. But down here in Playmakers, we've got a mix of the classics, like we've got skee ball inside, but then outside we've got these augmented reality digital posters that you can engage with. So we take technology and we kind of mix those things together so folks can really, um, you know, bond and have a great time. There's even technology to a degree when it comes to you guys water slides. Can you talk about that aspect? Sure. So water slides, again, have been around for a really long time, um, but we really try to take them to the next level. So our Perfect Storm series um, that are on Symphony of the Seas are really great slides that add um, you know, wonderful elements as you're going down in terms of lighting and things of that nature. And then on the boardwalk right behind you is um, something called the Ultimate Abyss. And that's a dry slide, but it actually has, you know, lighting and sound and different, um, you know, experiences as you're going through and plummeting down 13 stories. Now, the last thing I wanted to just touch upon is that when people are not playing laser tag, there's actually an ice show, but you guys have incorporated drone technology. Yeah, so there's 48 different drones um, that fly overhead. Um, during the show and again, it's just another elevation of the way that we take technology to the next level and We try to incorporate it in all the different things that we do um, Folks that are coming to us are coming to cruising or everybody's technology based now. We're all digital We all have phones and so every, I think if there's this fascination with the different things that technology can do And so we're really working hard to kind of interact that and put that into all the different things that we do throughout the show